question is if they're linearly independent or not. The question is, does there exist a C? Yeah? Does there exist a C1, C2, C3 where at least one of them not zero either c1 c2 c3 such that the first times c1 plus the second times c2 plus the third times c3 equals zero does this happen? Okay. Right. So, so let's investigate this a little bit. Since there's a relationship between the tan squared and the secant squared, it would be a good idea to replace one. Of them. Okay, with the other. So, uh, so let's do that. So let's say two c one plus c two tan square x plus now this secant squared is the same thing as 1 plus tan squared right so replace the secant squared with 1 plus tan squared so we get c3 plus c3 tan squared x equals 0 right Put those two together, you get 2C1 plus C3 plus C2 plus C3 times tan squared equals 0, yeah? Now watch, if you let this 0 so if you let uh, C2 plus C3 equal 0, which means this one goes away, and you get C2 equal minus C3, right? And so now you've got what's remaining here is, so plug this in, so you get 2C1, right? plus this guy went away so now you have c3 equals 0 now look how they depend on each other in this case I could just simply let c3 equals 1 right and solve for c1 so C1 would be minus 1 over 2. Because if you you know if you move C3 to the right, it's minus 1 over 2, you get C1. And since C2 equals minus C3, that just means that C2 equals minus 1. So I found values for C1, C2, and C3 where this result goes to 0. If you plug this in here, C2 in this equation, you know, you're going to get 0 for sure because that's how I solved this. C2 plus C3, that adds up to 0, so this goes away. And 2C1 will give you minus 1 plus C3 plus 1 will get you 0. Therefore, yes, they, they, they exist. C1, C2, C3 exist where at least one of them is not zero. They don't all have to be non-zero, at least one of them. But I found all of them to be non-zero. Therefore, the system is linearly dependent. So therefore, the uh, 
2 tan squared x and secant squared x are linearly dependent. 2 tan squared x and secant squared x. The three functions are linearly dependent. Okay? Now, had you done it your way here, you wouldn't have gotten an answer. Because if you divide them, you're not going to be able to see it in the method here. Uh, if there's three 